Hello. It's weird staring at myself here, but we are going to use Photoshop today to restore um, integrity and realism to a distorted photograph. So I thought, what distorts a photograph more than anything? Well, the special effects in Photo Booth on the Mac. So as you can see, there are a lot of fun ones here. I'm going to go with Bulge because this will be an easy one to demonstrate with. This is not weird at all. Let's not make this too difficult on ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and take a photo. There I am. Okay, so that's what we are going to use. We're just going to open that up in Photoshop here, get rid of Photo Booth. Now, that is not exactly the greatest representation of me, but what we can do to fix that is use the Liquify tool. Now, in reality, you'll be doing this with more realistically distorted photographs, say with a wide angle or fisheye lens, and you just try want you wanted to get a lot of information into that photo, but you couldn't do that without it being a little distorted because of the white the wide angle. So one way you can fix that is using liquify, which you can find in filter, and then go down to this little section here and choose liquify. Now what liquify lets you do is set a brush size. We're gonna start with something bigger like 100 because I believe that's the default and you can push stuff in. You can start moving things around. Now this is not going to be perfect, like we're not going to be able to restore this to its full integrity uh, using the liquify tool because it's just not, um, I mean, it, it's distorted too much. But you can start to put back some shapes by just clicking and pushing in. Click on the point and the center point and then just pushing in. Obviously this nose is a little too big so I'm just going to put, I'm going to start below it and move it up and now we're getting towards a more realistic shape. There we go. Moving that around, pushing that down. We need to get those eyebrows. I'm going to pull those eyebrows down. And that, at the same time, is going to pull down on the eyes as well, which are too big, cartoonishly big. So move those in. There we go. And as you can see, while this is not necessarily fixing the problem in its entirety, I am starting to get a more realistic photo. Um, I'm going to make the brush size really big to kind of push these areas in a bit more and that out. Because um, as you can see, this, is, this would normally be more flat. Um, and this wouldn't necessarily be so high. I'm going to go ahead, reduce the brush a little bit, pull these back up. And we have the mouth that is way too big. And I'm just clicking right around the edges here to bring that back together. And we're going to make the brush bigger, pull the mouth back up, push uh, the eyes back in a little bit here. And we can go ahead, pull those in, move the cheeks in. And now the face is starting to look a little bit more normal size. Now of course that's not really what I look like. This is a more accurate look of what you know what we're trying to get to, but we're getting closer to what the actual face is by using liquify to correct those things. Now let's take a look at what this can do realistically. Okay, so here we have a photo of the life hacker team and you can see that everyone in the middle looks pretty normal because they're not at the distorted part of the wide angle lens, but you can see I'm getting pulled out into the edges here, and you can also see the curtains are moving up. Um, and liquify is something that you can do, that you can use to easily correct this problem. So we're gonna go into liquify again, and I'm just going to use a slightly smaller brush um, to push, oop, missed that, to push uh, my face in a little bit and part of my body. So this is slightly more even. And so my head is not being sucked into the vortex that is the top left corner. Um, and that's all you really have to do, just to give you a look here. I'm going to hit OK. This is the less distorted version of the photo, where my head's kind of normal. And this is what it looks like uh, before. So before, after. And that's a more practical use of the liquify tool.